you can't see history moving right. down the street, but this morning on South Prairie Avenue, that's exactly what happened. ABC 7 Eyewitness News reporter Frank Matthew explains. Prairie Avenue on the city's south side leads you straight to Chicago's past. And this morning, a stroll down Prairie brought you face to face with a coach house on the move. Built in the late 1860s, it was home to horses and carriages and was part of one of the wealthiest streets in America. Prairie Avenue would have been the place to live on in the 1870s and 1880s. All of Chicago's business and social leaders lived on the street, uh, including Marshall Field, George Pullman, Philip Armour, who would have all been neighbors of Mrs. Reese. Prairie Avenue in the 1880s. You didn't live here unless you had lots of bucks. And wealthy widow Harriet Reese had just that. She built this mansion at 2110 South Prairie for $35,000. In a month, this too will be moved to the new site down the block. And it's all because of a McCormick Place expansion. They move in, the houses move out. So these two historic buildings are making way for an expansion of McCormick Place. And you have to wonder, is this really progress? Is it future to the back? or back to the future. Yes, well, that is a very controversial issue. Um, ideally, of course, we want to keep landmarks in their original location to preserve the context in which they were built. In this particular situation, with how much the neighborhood has changed through the decades, ultimately the best decision was to move it actually next to another um, historic house. In early November, Mrs. Reese's main house will hit the road, and that will be a bigger job. Today, the move for the coach house took an hour and a half. That's going to probably be about an overall three-day duration within the street. The Metropolitan Pier and Exposition Authority is paying for the two moves. Progress pays for the past. Frank Manthey, ABC7 Eyewitness News.